Prince of Wales wants to build a 2,500 home garden city to help tackle the social housing crisis. Prince William's set to create hundreds of affordable houses on farmland that he owns in Kent. The 320-acre plot will also include a primary school and shops, according to plans lodged with Swale Borough Council. But Tory MP Helen Wakeley says the area could be permanently gridlocked if thousands of extra homes are built. The land is part of the Duchy of Cornwall, which he inherited from King Charles, and has assets of more than a billion pounds. Joining me to discuss this, Talk TV's Royal Editor Sarah Houston. I mean, William did talk about putting his money where his mouth is. He did talk about making positive change you could actually see, mm -hmm. rather than just planting the occasional tree and cutting a ribbon. And this is a, an example of that. Yes, so he did this big launch around homelessness uh, last year, and he talked about wanting to do something about it, not just talk about it. And now we're seeing it. Actually, this is a project that was started by his father, uh, the former Prince of Wales, back in 2018, and is being carried on uh, by William. So, as you said, two and a half thousand homes expected to be built. The plans, uh, certainly for them, in a garden city uh, in Faversham, in Kent. Thirty percent of them will be affordable homes, and that's three times more than is necessary under planning uh, rules. And um, the aim is to transform the house building crisis and be able to offer homes to those who need them, if it gets through the planning process, of course. And you've got to say that we've done an item already on the programme today about shortages of housing, about failure of construction to actually happen, even though it's always discussed as a good thing and a desirable thing. If William does manage to bring this about, then it will be a sizeable achievement, certainly for all the people who live in the houses. And one of the biggest questions that was raised when he talked about homelessness is, oh, well, you know, you've got all these houses, you've got all this land, do something about this. And this is Duchy of Cornwall uh, land, and that is the the vast estate uh, that he inherited uh, when he became the Prince of Wales and the plan is to use 320 acres of that land in Kent for this project, the first of several. And Fergie has been seen coming out of the Edward VII Hospital today. Yes, she has. Now, she um, obviously has talked in the last few days about her skin cancer diagnosis that came so quickly after her breast cancer diagnosis. Uh, she was seen smiling uh, as she left the King Edward VII Hospital in central London earlier today, presumably there uh, for further checks. She'd spent quite some time in Austria recovering after the news. She then said she was back uh, being looked after by her family. Uh, and the real hope is that they managed to remove all of the cancer when they removed the mole, uh, but she's awaiting further test results. Uh, there was an interesting piece in the Daily Mail today by Richard Kay about um, suggesting that, that, that Fergie and Prince Andrew should simply remarry and that that would be good for everybody it would be good they said particularly for he said particularly for them staying in royal lodge because if it was a family home and they were a married couple everyone would feel different about it i don't know whether you thought that was a bit fanciful or whether you thought it was, was a good idea i just don't know that it's necessary really is yeah. it as fergie has described them as the happiest divorced couple uh, she knows they've been existing like this for a very very long time uh, for the benefit of their two girls beatrice and eugenie they they may be uh, divorced but They've remained, as she said, the very best of friends. Uh, they have supported each other through some pretty turbulent times. And, and let's face it, the last few years have been more turbulent uh, than most yeah. for a whole variety of reasons. And, and I, I don't see any reason why they should need to remarry because she does live alongside him. At, at and it's Lodge. a very unusual scenario, isn't it? It is an unusual don't setup. often get divorced couples, especially if they've got plenty of money and can afford to go and move far away from one another, deciding to live cheek by jowl. I know it's a big place, Royal Lodge, but even so. It is an unusual um, setup. I guess um, for their daughters, it works really well. And for the grandchildren, it works really well. Because, for example, we saw Fergie there at Sandringham at Christmas and the whole family was staying at, at Wood Farm on the Sandringham estates. And it means they're not having to decide how they split their time because even though their parents aren't officially together, they are together under the same roof. Most remarkable situation, yeah. isn't it? And certainly she's been his greatest champion through all his recent vicissitudes. Now, Harry and Meghan having a glamorous time in Jamaica. Yes. Now, this is quite an image, isn't it? Because uh, this couple, uh, 
who have cut ties uh, with the British monarchy and embracing their independence, mingling and posing for photographs with the Prime Minister of a country that wants to do uh, just that. And, and when I saw these images, it made me think just how different things could have been if they'd been handled differently on both sides. Because the big plan was for Harry and Meghan to be ambassadors within the Commonwealth, that they were going to be youth ambassadors, that they were going to go and, and fly the flag for the British monarchy within the Commonwealth. And they could have been such an asset. And instead, we have them here. I think surprise you know. comment by Prince Harry, I had to be here. Yes. Not sure, sure quite sure why. I don't know whether he's a huge Bob Marley fan and he had to be there for the premiere. Not sure. I mean, there are some that have also picked up their posing for photographs alongside the president of uh, Paramount and Nickelodeon. Perhaps uh, they're eyeing up their next deal. Oh, I remember when Netflix the Lion King premiere. Disney, yes. Disney, you know, Harry said, well, my wife's really good at voiceovers. Yes. Remember all that. I'm